Hey, my name is Julian and I work as a digital marketing strategist here at 1IMS. And what I would like to talk about today is how big a part organic keywords and keywords in general place from a search engine optimization perspective. So when you think about SEO, there's a couple of things you gotta consider. First of all, there's all the technical stuff of SEO that's on one hand and on the other side, you have the ongoing aspects such as content marketing, digital PR, thought leadership and link building. And within all of these aspects and umbrellas, you do have what's called keywords in, from a search engine optimization perspective. And when it comes to keywords in this the, the very particular perspective, you have something called branded keywords and you have something called non-branded keyword. A branded keyword would be that people already know your product or your name or, your, or yeah, your product or your name when they go to search for you online or search for your services. So if someone were looking for a digital marketing agency in Chicago, they would type in one IMS already because they already know who we are. On the other side, you have non-branded keywords, which are descriptive keywords that describe your products or services. So for example, one IMS's digital marketing agency, some people might go online and search for SEO agency in Chicago. That will be a non-branded keyword. It doesn't mention our company name and it's descriptive and it talks about our services. On the other hand, you have something called long tail keywords and you have something called short tail keywords. A long tail keyword is a keyword that consists of multiple words after each other. And they are usually less competitive and they also have less search volume. On the other hand, these are, like I mentioned, less competitive. And the reason why you would like to rank for them is that when you rank for a long tail keyword, the traffic that you get from these keywords are from people that actually want to find you because these searches are so descriptive. On the other hand, when you look at short tail keywords, these keywords are so short and they're so competitive that it's gonna be very, very tough to rank for. I'm not saying it's impossible, not at all, but you just gotta prepare yourself and be prepared for that these keywords are very competitive. So when you think about all of these aspects and some of these things that I mentioned with keywords, you're probably thinking about, well, how do I prioritize between branded, non-branded, long tail, short tail? Well, there's no really true answer to this question, but what you normally would like to do, obviously you gotta rank for your own branded keywords. You need people to know who you are before we know you. You gotta have some non-branded keywords that describe your services so people who doesn't know you do actually find you. And you wanna have a combination of short tail and long tail keywords. If you manage to apply these best practices when it comes to keywords, you're on a good way to better your SEO efforts. If you enjoyed this content, I want you to subscribe to our channel. And another thing that you can do is run your website through our website audit. I'm gonna put a link right here, take a look at your website through our software that will give you a grade on all the different channels of your website. If you wanna dig deeper, I'm gonna put a link to our training. It's a one hour training on SEO where you can dig deeper and learn more about how you can get free traffic to your website. Take a look at it and I'll see you next time.